listen up. Over the last few years, I've helped thousands of people land work from home gigs. And today we're going to be diving into legit opportunities at a huge company known as Southwest Airlines. And these aren't just any jobs. They're usually tech or business related roles with real training opportunities and room for career growth. So no degree, no problem for many of these. Or maybe you have a degree, but the work you do has absolutely nothing with the degree subject. Also, no problem. So today we're exploring Southwest Airlines remote jobs, and these are mostly low phone tech oriented positions, and they're perfect for those who prefer typing over talking. And some don't even require a degree or are great for fresh grads. Now, quick heads up, some of these specific positions might be filled by the time you're watching, but here's the real value. I'm giving you insider information on the types of remote roles to pursue and how to prepare for them at major companies like Southwest. So even if these exact jobs are gone, you'll be ready to soar when similar opportunities pop up in the near future. So let's get you job ready and career bound. Now, by the way, knowing which jobs to apply for is great, but you're also going to need a resume and tips to make your experience shine. So I actually created a completely free resume template that's been proven to be better than just about 99% of the paid templates out there. And you can access it by clicking down the description and the pinned comment below so that you can use that in order to apply for these jobs. And by the way, before we dive in, let's talk about some insider insights from Southwest employees. First of all, free flights are a huge perk. Imagine jetting off to anywhere in the US or even Mexico on your days off. And the culture is all about love, not fear. Employees feel valued and supported. Also from online reports, work-life balance is pretty good. For instance, one software engineer says they've never felt pressured to work overtime and benefits are top notch, including comprehensive health coverage and a 401k match that could boost your retirement savings significantly. Also profit sharing means when Southwest does well, you do well too. And many tech roles and business roles offer remote work options, which gives you flexibility in where you live. That means you can lower your cost of living by living somewhere that's cheaper, or you can just live wherever you want so that your quality of life increases. Now, like any job, there might be challenges, but here's the thing. With the right attitude and skills, you can overcome most obstacles and thrive at Southwest. And it's all about how you approach the opportunity. So let's dive in. All right, so the first one is an associate cloud DevOps engineer. And this is a position that pays anywhere from 84 to $93,000 a year. And that's not too bad for an entry-level role. And here's what you'll be doing. Automating code deployment and developing cloud infrastructure. Those are gonna be your two main jobs. And basically, you're the wizard behind the curtain, making sure everything runs smoothly. Now let's look at the job description. See where it says required high school diploma or GED? That's your foot in the door. But wait, there's more. It also says bachelor's degree or equivalent formal training. That's your golden ticket if you don't have a degree. You see, they're looking for AWS knowledge. So start playing around with Amazon Web Services or other cloud-based software. Because basically anything that involves the cloud right now is extremely hot. There's simply not enough talent that is good at using the cloud. And AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, they're all kind of like Legos, but for the cloud. Oh, and by the way, did I mention a lot of these cloud positions are remote? Just one thing though, some states are gonna be off limit. For instance, California and New York. And some companies simply refuse to hire people from certain states because the state makes it really difficult to hire people. So unfortunately, that's the way it works. However, not all of these are gonna be off limits. Next on our list is going to be an associate system engineer. And this is gonna be the same salary range, 84 to 93,000, but you'll be working on their digital employee experience team. Fancy title, right? Well, let's zoom in on the job posting. So here's the Southwest careers page for this role. And if you look at the preferred experience section, this is some of the experience that they want. Now, don't panic if you don't have all of these. Start with Windows and PowerShell, and those are gonna be your building blocks. And honestly, when they say you need experience with all of these, they really just mean that they don't wanna spend forever training you on these. And so as long as you're able to just get some experience by watching some tutorials online and making yourself familiar with it, you're probably good to go. Now, in this position, they do ask for a bachelor's degree, but remember, equivalent and formal training is your friend. And that could be certification, certificates, boot camps, or even just solid project based experience. Also, if you have experience as a freelancer, you can use that as experience too, even if it was just on Fiverr one time. So you can start learning about Windows, Microsoft 365 and PowerShell and those skills could land you this sweet remote gig. Next is going to be an associate technology analyst. And this salary ranges from 63 to 70,000. And it's slightly lower, but it's also easier to land. And it's still pretty solid for an entry level role. And you'll be the bridge between tech and business, like a translator, but for computer stuff. So let's dive into the job description. So let's check out the preferred experience. So here's the experience that they want. And this might seem a little bit overwhelming, but you can start with just one or two of these. For instance, React and Python are great starting points. And like I said, you can make projects online. You can take certificates on a website like Coursera. Link to Coursera down in the description and the pinned comment below. They're really good for certificates, training, figuring out what companies actually want people to have. And they're super affordable too. Plus there's a free seven day trial. So definitely check them out. 
account. But also it says here that they prefer someone with a degree, but they also say or equivalent formal training. And smart companies are starting to do this more and more because they're starting to realize that 95% of what a college degree teaches you is not applicable in the job market. And so companies are starting to realize that there are highly trained, super specialized and talented people who are just educating themselves outside of college now. However, you really do need to go above and beyond in your resume and your portfolio to show that you have the skills, right? So getting some IT certifications might be a good idea and making a great portfolio as well. Next is going to be an associate software engineer. And they usually make about 84 to $93,000 a year at entry level positions. And you've got some options here. You could go field services, infrastructure, air ops, crew ops, or tech and ground ops. So you'd want to do some research and all those and see which one appeals to you the most or which one you have the most relevant experience with. Now let's go ahead and look at the job posting and we're going to check out the preferred experience. And you can see what the preferred experience is here. This company really does like AWS and it seems like a lot, right? And you'll kind of notice that just about every company wants people to have cloud-based experience now, whether it's AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. So any cloud-based experience is super, super valuable. So you definitely want to start studying that. But this does seem like a lot, right? But here's the secret. You don't need all of these to apply. Focus on React, Java, or Python to start. Also touch up on your AWS or your cloud experience and just make sure that you're familiar with all of the other ones and create some kind of project where you're using these. Now let's look at the education requirement. It says bachelor's degree or equivalent formal training. And there's our magic phrase again. So if you've been coding in your basement and you have projects to show off, you've got a shot. So either use your portfolio or start building your portfolio because it could be your ticket to this remote coding paradise. All right, so now let's dream big for a second and let's talk about an enterprise architect. This one is not entry level, but it's something to aspire to. So you can see how much these guys make. Uh, and this is something that you could get into maybe five years down the line, maybe even sooner than that. And they're making about 175 to 194 thousand dollars a year. So tech pays really well right off the bat. And then down the line, it pays even better. So let's look at what they're asking for. So they want experience with enterprise architecture, technical architecture, application architecture, data architecture, infrastructure architecture, cloud architecture. Hey, there's that cloud again, security architecture or other technical discipline. Now security is another really big thing. Uh, a lot of companies are wanting people that are at least familiar with different cybersecurity measures now. So having that on your resume, in your portfolio is never a bad thing. Now, this is advanced stuff, but it does show you the growth potential and tech roles that you have. So you can start small, but always keep your eyes on the prize. And look at this. This is what they prefer. So experience with EA frameworks, enterprise architecture management tools, etc. And so when you look at these positions, this could be like your roadmap for long term career growth. So once you get into an entry level role, you can start asking people, hey, can I get experience working with this and that because you want to get that experience so that you can apply to these higher level jobs and a place like Coursera is a great place to get that experience and show people that you actually know what you're doing. So yeah, we'll put links to Coursera as well as either links on the screen or links down below to some positions that are open for Southwest. Also, we're putting the link to that resume and career guide down below. So definitely check that out as well. We're trying to be as useful as possible to you guys. And if you're interested, I did make a tier list of some of the best Coursera certificates that help people land jobs. And you can check that out by clicking right here.